Yo guys, Gluten Free EDC here. I'm Brian, your gluten sensitive representative. Today I have a pretty cool knife for you. This is my first automatic knife. This is the ProTech Godson. A three inch folder in 154 cm. Pretty neat. Let's open her up. This is the button. That's the opening mechanism. You actuate that by depressing that button and you have this beautiful dagger or spear point style blade in 154 cm. That is the ingot version as opposed to CPM 154, which is the powder steel version of this knife. This knife is fantastic, wildly sharp edge, fantastically pointy tip. So this would be really good for anything you need to puncture. Decent slicing capability, not the thinnest behind the edge. However, they do put a great secondary bevel. I know they're known for that at ProTech, really great. This one in particular comes in aluminum scales. They put a coating on there that's very soft. It's, I believe it's hard anodized. It's supposed to be fairly wear resistant, and I believe that to be the case. The clip reminds me of kind of like a Benchmade. It's not the deepest carry clip. It works well enough, but I'd prefer a little bit deeper of a carry potentially. The pivot, so oddly enough, the pivot as well as the body screws. If you were to take one of these apart, they're made for an Allen key rather than Torx bits. And then the screws on the pocket clip are T6 hardware. So Torx bits for that. I thought that was kind of interesting that they mixed it up. You'll note that the button actuator is slightly off center and that is to allow the pivot to be slightly off center as well. And that is how they're ach achieving that wild action. This thing kicks like a mule. So you'll see some recoil even if I hold it with just the two fingers, see the whole handle kind of shakes. It's almost hard to hold on to. It's, it's got that much force behind it. Obviously, it's not anything to hold on to if you've got, you know, a decent grip on it. But this is one of those knives that, honestly, I'm not going to hand to a non-knife person. I think because it's got that much of a kick to it, which is awesome. For that reason, though, I'd be hesitant to hand it to a non-knife person. And even a knife person, really. I'm going to give it, whoever I hand this knife to, I'm giving them a fair warning. Hey, this has some wild kick to it. I don't know how they're achieving it with that small of a blade against it. Again, this is a three inch blade that they're achieving that kick with. And there's not much blade there, right? So not a crazy amount of weight to throw and have that inertia backing that. It's just the spring in there is just that good. Now I had... Did note, in here we don't have any milling going on inside the scales. You don't need it though. This is very, very light, this knife. I believe it's running on washers, but I did not take this apart as the action just seems so good. I don't think it's necessary. It came centered. It's really just perfect as is there's no need to really take this knife apart in my opinion you see it's got right here where it's going to line up into that button so it is a button lock mechanism up here they put a cool little detail so they added almost more to the scales to act like a backspacer just like they're doing back here but this your thumb's gonna rest there so it is nice to have you could rest your thumb on the flat of the spine it is a flat surface not the most comfortable and it's polished very nice 
It's a machine satin. Everywhere you got the flats here. Protec USA, their logo on the one side, the blade steel on the other, 154 cm. Overall, it's a really great knife. That action is addictive. That is the Protec Godson. I think, I believe this one was discontinued. When I was looking it up, it seemed like it was. There are so many variants of this knife though, with different types of scales. I know they had one with a leather insert that you could check out on MC or, or rather Metal Complex. I know he had one with a leather insert there or inlay rather there's g10 versions different anodized coatings to make it different colors i'm sure there's one in protec blue so yeah there's a bunch of different variants protec is just awesome at putting out multiple different variants i really like that about protec and they're making a quality product again this is my first auto first protec not the first one i've handled but yeah fantastic knife before we leave i do want to note there's chamfering around the side and all the edges are knocked down ever so slightly so in hand this is very comfortable not the craziest amount of ergos but i don't think you're going to be really hard using this knife for anything crazy so that's all you really need really cool again that's the protec godson Hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, wonderful rest of your evening. I've been Brian. Take care.